What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we started this whole adventure yet again, with a nice explanation and all that stuff, but look at it, this morning, and look at the graphics again. It looks fantastic. I mean, I'm so glad I went to U2 University. Anywho, we're gonna go straight up to Route 30 because, well, we've already done everything when it comes to the tutorials, getting our mom to know that, you know, we're leaving and all that crud. And as you guys can see, yes, I have the speed button. Speed button is always good, and yes, these wild Pokemon have no chance. Now, will we see some captures along the way? Yes, we will. We will be seeing some old faces and all that crud, and since it's a new day... Yes, sir, we get ourselves another Apricorn Berry, or Apricorn, and... I think that's probably what's going to happen for the other area right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle everybody right here. So, yes. Yeah, you guys got to love me just battling everybody. And look at that. We are one level away from evolving. So, let's go right ahead and get ourselves a quick attack right there. So, let's see. First is first. I'm actually going to go get the other Apricorn right there. I'll be right back with you when we start our battles right here. Okay, so we did a little bit of capturing, guys. Don't worry, I put them all away because these are just regular Pokemon that we can actually find. And here we go with our very first battle. This guy is actually telling us that, well, he lost. <laughs> he does not feel good about himself. So, let's go right ahead and take on Youngster Joey. And, well, we got ourselves a Rattata to face. So, let's speed this up right here. Go in with an Ember. And, yes, easy battle right there. Yes, we're probably going to evolve this Pokemon right before we go into the next gym. And, as always, yes, he is going to register his phone number to us because, well, we gotta have a youngster Joey, you know, calling us constantly and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and, and take on this person right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on the victor of that last battle against youngster Joey. And here we have youngster Mikey coming out with his Pidgey. So let's go with an Ember and Rattata again. And again, you're going to be taking on some basic Pokemon right here. Alrighty, so let's see what we got right here. Trainer tips, no stealing other po uh, people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokemon. Now, the funny thing is, over at Cherry Grove City, guys, you can actually buy yourself some Heal Balls because there's going to be two, two people selling some stuff. There's going to be some mail and there's going to be some Heal Balls. So if you guys want to capture any Pokemon without going back to the Pokemon Center, and healing them and all that stuff. The heal ball is the way to go. And well, here we go, taking on Bug Catcher Don. This is gonna be a breeze right here because, well, bug type Pokemon, you gotta love them. And there we go. Just like that, we we win. We are victorious. Okay, so let's move on right here. Here we are in Route 31, and obviously you're gonna be finding some interesting Pokemon right here. And well, Caterpie is not one of them. And as you guys can see, yes, I did capture myself a Caterpie off screen and well dark cave if a pokemon could light it up i'd explore it that is true we will be going there later on because there are some pokemon that you can actually find right there and well let's see let us continue on right here you talk to this guy he's like oh i walked too far today looking for a pokemon my feet hurt and i'm sleeping if i were a wild pokemon i'd be easy to catch <laughs> kind of giving us a, a little bit of a, a heads up hey draven why would you go capture these legendary Pokemon while they're asleep now, not paralyzed? And before we battle that gentleman, grab this, found ourselves a Pokeball, always fun to actually get. And let's go right ahead and take on this bug catcher. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of Pokemon, let me battle with you. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, another battle against bug catcher Wade. He will be having four Pokemon, so as always, easy. And it looks like we're gonna evolve our Pokemon like right after this battle right here. Did I over battle or over level my Pokemon? Not really. And look at that, Cinder grows to level 14. I think we're doing a good job with uh, raising our Pokemon. I think we are. So here it is guys, first evolution, second episode. We got Cinder evolving. And well, I am thinking of I am thinking of capturing some Pokemon. It just uh, it's gonna take a while, guys, because there are certain kinds of Pokemon that you can capture a day and night. And uh, <laughs> I'm kind of having an idea what exactly I want to get. So here we have. Okay, so that was uh, number one on our little uh, on our little what you call it? Uh, what was it called? Uh, 
glitch thing. So if you guys are playing Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver on the emulator, you will be experiencing that. And just like I did before, I saved the game, restarted it, and you're back to normal. It's just if you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for a long period of time, yes, this is this is exactly what's going to happen. So here we have our good old buddy Cinder evolved into a Quillava. And well, as you guys can see, its stats are pretty good right here. Ability still blaze and all that crud. We are doing good. And well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the Pokedex entry right here. So let's go ahead and open that. And the next Pokemon we got is Quillava. So let's see. Wow, look at that. I do love the Pokedex entry or the Pokedex. But as you guys can see right here, Quillava, the volcano Pokemon. Be careful if it turns its back during battle. It means it will attack with fire on its back. Yeah, we definitely don't want any of that stuff. We don't want the smoke. Anywho, let's continue on right here. And obviously, we're going to be getting attacked by a Pokemon. And here we have a Bellsprout. I've been looking for you because, well, I'm going to be using you for, you know, a good part of my team. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves Bellsprout. Like I said before, guys, we are going to... We are going to be switching out some Pokemon here left and right right here. So, as you guys can see, we got Bellsprout, the flower Pokemon, both grass and poison. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it is blindly fast when it catching its prey. This is a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. So, let's go ahead and nickname our good old buddy. We bequeath you the name. Let's see, right here, sir. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so pressing that and then... We're going to be naming this guy Sir Razor. Now, I get what you guys are thinking. This isn't a permanent Pokemon. No, it's not. We just want, we just need it for a few episodes here and there. So let's move on right here. And as you guys can see, we are finally getting into Violet Town. But here we have Lyra, and she's like, I know it was you, Draven. How did you get past me? Here's something uh, neat for, uh, for surprising me. And we get ourselves a VS Recorder. That right there is can record your Pokemon battles, and it's doing it online and all that crud. Now, the thing is, um, I'm still trying to figure that out, guys. If you, if anybody out there knows how to trade Pokemon on the emulator right here, this, this Mube, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know. So here we are in Violet Town, or Violet City, I should say, and uh, there's a few things that I need to do off screen, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and well, off screen, I went and captured uh, myself another Bellstrow. Now, if you go into this house right here, guys, it's very obvious that if you talk to this individual, he collects Pokemon, and he wants a Bellsprout for an Onyx. That right there is a very good trade. Now, the messed up part about this whole thing is that, well... As much as I really, 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 and I mean really, really, really want a Steelix on my team right here in Pokemon uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I still don't know how to trade. And if there is a way to trade onto this whole uh, emulator, that would be great. That would be awesome to find out. So again, comment down below if you guys already know. But take a look at the graphics right here, guys. It's a clear. It's not so fuzzy. Many of you guys have been complaining about that, and well... Here we are with our very first trade. The Pokeball, the Pokeball here looks pretty awesome as well. And, well, here we have good old Rocky. Okay, so we got Rocky now. Rocky Balboa. Yeah, I would definitely use Steelix in this in this walkthrough right here if, we, if I could. So, there it is. Got ourselves a Steel or an Onyx. And let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So, as you guys can see, here we have Rocky. Hasty nature does have an item, person berry. Too bad we can't oblige with the other one. And well, it has some pretty good moves. It has this, the ability Sturdy, which it protects against uh, one-hit KOs or any of that stuff. It is a defense, a defense. Uh, what was it called? A defensive machine right here. So this would actually be a good Pokemon to actually have against the Violet City Gym Leader. But the thing is, he's prepared and all that crud. Um, let's see, what was the other thing? Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our walk right here through Violet City. And, well, there's the Pokemon School, and here we have the guy that runs the Pokemon School. He's like, Bonjour! You are a trainer. Battle, uh, battle Gym Leader, when you did? 
Not really, I didn't really win, so let's go right ahead and ask him yet again. So, as you guys can see, steady shall I, and he's from another country, he's gonna be spinning around in circles, and he's gonna be like, oh my god. This guy right here spinning around in circles, and he's like, here, teacher, am I? Or I am, good as you, steady here. That is kind of a pretty nice vocabulary, so now, I believe if you go up to him right here, you can go in and talk to him, and he's gonna be like, Earl, I am, wonderful, or Pokemon, yes, teach you I will to be a better trainer. What do you want to know? Want to be a winner is you. Not really. I already know the things to the basics to Pokemon. So you want to raise Pokemon well, yes. And yeah, he's talking to me, he's talking to us about switch training and all that stuff. And well, that's pretty much it. I thought he was gonna give us an item right here. And <laughs> okay, so let's see. Hey you, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can complete. Compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Sure, let's go right ahead and make a group. Okay, what do you want to nickname this group? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what kind of nickname it would strike fear into anybody. Let's see. The something group. Right, let's go with this one right here. Let's go with the ninja group. Because we are all want to be ninjas at some point. So here we go, ninja. There we go, Ninja Group. Okay, so we're gonna be calling it the Ninja Group, and he's like, huh, that's a great name. The leader is Draven. I hope you, uh, your group gets more members. Okay, cool, cool, fantastic. Okay, so the next thing we on our list right here is we actually have to go into the Sprout Tower, and it's gonna be very easy since you do have a Fire type Pokemon. Look at this Sprout Tower and all its graphics, pretty cool. And again, I am loving the graphics, the graphics card on all this stuff right here. So the Sprout Tower is exactly how it's named. You will be facing up, uh, you will be facing a lot of mages, or not mages, but you know, sages, I should say. And they will all be having bell sprouts. There's gonna be at least two, two guys that have uh, hoot hoot. So just keep an eye out for that. And thankfully, we have a fully evolved Cinder, and well, we're gonna be continuing our battles right here. And you know what? Let's go with Rocky. And let's switch train, okay? Let's let's give a little mercy to these Pokemon trainers right here. Cinder, how's it going? Here we go with an Ember, and just like that, we have defeated and. Uh, Look at that. Okay, so easy training for our Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go back downstairs right here. And here we're going to be finding ourselves a Paralysis Heal. That's also a very, very nice item to actually have. Especially when you're the king of Paralysis right here. And, well, let's see. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another trainer. Here we have Sage Chow. Sage Chow, of course, does have his Bell Sprout. And well, let's go with an Ember Attack right here, speeding it up a little, keeping it going. And yes, we are breezing through this because, well, I mean, we we now can. This is the this is the amazing thing about speed buttoning, guys, that you can actually battle as fast as you can. And here we found ourselves in X Accuracy. Just be aware. X accuracy does boost up your accuracy when it's lowered or just in battle. It would actually be a useful item when you go up against, uh, what was his name? Um, yeah, when you go up against Faulkner. This guy, he, he's no joke when it comes to uh, when it comes to the Pokemon that he uses. And it looks like to me my Ember is going down. And yes, we got quite a few Bell Sprouts right here. So I kind of want to one hit shit, KO them. And here we go, level 15. And Sage Edmund has been defeated. Yes, he is weak. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on with our adventure right here. Let's see. Let's go up here. And here we are on the final floor. Now, we're going to grab this item first. Here we found ourselves a potion. And, well, we're going to be attacked by this guy right here. Let's see what he has to say. I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. That's pretty good, uh... That is a pretty good mantra right there. So here we go, taking on Sage Jin. Not the guy from Tekken. And, well, we got a total of six. Ticks, uh, six embers right here. So we gotta be a little conservative and all that stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on another Spell Sprout right here. And just like that, we have defeated uh, another Sage. 
And what does this guy have to say right here? He's like, let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust him a lot. I'll tell you that right now. So here we go, taking on Sage Troy. And he's going to be coming out with a Bell Sprout. Funny thing is, he's one of the two that actually has a Hoot Hoot. So let's go with Rocky right here. And I do love the graphics on, on Rocky, so let's go ahead and switch train right back. And yes, we got put to sleep. So we're going to go with a quick attack. Continue with the quick attack, take a hit, there we go. And just like that, we have defeated another Sage. Rocky grows to level 5. And yes, our trust is real, with just Cinder right now. And, well, I completely forgot to tell you guys, yes, you can find Pokemon in this place. At day, you can find Raditas. In night, you can find both Raditas and Gastlys. So if you guys are looking for Gastlys, yes, this is the place to go. So let's go right here, and as you guys can see, there is a battle afoot. The other's like, you showed us, uh, you showed us what you've got, and it, it's, it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. And this guy's like, <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those uh, who lecture how to show how or how you should be nice to Pokemon. They cannot be uh, defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon and win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. And well, just like anybody else, would be you'd be using an escape rope. So let's uh, escape this Pokemon right here. Raditas, you you guys are you guys are lame right here. And let's go right here. Grab this. Found ourselves an escape rope. And let's go right ahead and talk to the Elder. He's like, so good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. Taking on the Elder. And this guy looks like an Elder. Elder Lee. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Bell Sprout. And luckily, we only got three embers left. We grow to level 16, and he's coming out with a hoo hoo. So let's go ahead and switch train a little. The reason I'm doing this, Rocky, you know, kind of wanna, kind of wanna be ready for the next gym battle right here. So let's go right ahead and take on, get a Cinder going, and let's go quick attacks. Continue with the quick attacks, and just like that, we have defeated the Elder while Rocky mooches off of us. Yes, and it wants to learn Screech. Okay, and many of you guys already know, <laughs> I'm trying to be a little more strategic here when it comes to Pokemon battles, so let's go ahead and take that away. It's not like I'm going to be using Rocky for everything and all that crud, and well, he's going to be coming out with a Bell Sprout. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off one more time. Let's go with an Ember, and just like that, we are the victors. Ah, excellent! And we get some monies out of this. So let's see what he says. Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner, and you should be able to make good of use of this. It is a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. So here's one of the big changes from, you know, Gold, Silver, Crystal series to the Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver series. That is that Flash is no longer an HM. It's a, it's a TM, and you can actually buy the TM as many times as you want over in Goldenrod. So if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, when the Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on a Bell Sprout for an example. That is true. So let's go right ahead and uh, GTFO right here because, yeah, we kind of don't need to be here anymore. Look at that. We are escaping. And well, look at that. Came back to Violet City. So we're going to stop it right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to be visiting the Dark Cave, you know, the first part of it. See what kind of Pokemon you can find. Uh, capture a few new te team members and train. And then from there, get ready for the Violet City Gym. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being as patient as always. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there's a heart button right there. Make that donation. Keeps the lights on around here. And yes, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver series. See you guys.